like to send a message because it's been one year of uh, that Draconian day this August when uh, India surpassed all international treaties, all bilateral treaties, even their own Indian constitution and surpassed all United Nations Security Council resolutions and international law, international humanitarian law and passed the still legitimate presidential order and snatched away all the rights of the oppressed people of Indian occupied Jammu and In short words, they took away our airship rights and they want to create a people minority so that by the time the uh, referendum is exercised of deficit, we become the marginalized community and the Hindus from India, they settle here and become Hindu. So This is the highest form of law theft that India did last year. A war that they did with the force of defense and they didn't even have to shoot any bullets to do that. And right now, complete garrisons, you know, by Germany as the highest occupation of the world, and now it will become the highest public occupier also. We gather every space that is there over there. We are already living in a prison. The youth is locked up. The people starving to death. There's an economic blockade. The world has witnessed two months of corona and lockdown and the whole world is depressed and screaming with anxiety. But just imagine what really people go through. They go through worse than this on a daily basis. In fact, the Indian occupiers are themselves the corona. They feel share pleasure and excitement in taking away the blood of the community.